Freddy here, welcome back to the Your Obsession channel. And what I have here for you today is the awesome, believe me, awesome Mech Army SGN3 Keychain Flashlight. Stay with me. This really is an awesome flashlight. Uh, I'm going to tell you right up front, so hopefully I can keep you uh, at least for a couple of minutes. 160 lumens, rechargeable, has a red light, has a UV light. Um, it, it's not plastic either. This is an aluminum alloy, and it has solid build quality. It really is an impressive flashlight. As a matter of fact, how many keychain flashlights do you know that have a glass lens with an anti-reflective coating? That is pretty damn impressive. Anyway, GearBest did send me this for review. Um, they did not pay me for this review in any way, but I'm letting you know they did send it to me. Um, if you're interested in this at any time, $42.90, just click on the link below, get it at GearBest. You can select either free shipping or for a couple of extra dollars, you could expedite it to get it to wherever you are quickly. So if you're deciding to purchase this, here's the box that it, can, that it came in or comes in. Lots of information on the back. I'll let you freeze the video if you want to read that. And inside that box, you get a manual with also some warranty information. It's written well. It's not a badly written manual like we've seen some. What else do we get? We get a little loop here that you could put here so you could sort of put this onto your key ring or keychain or whatever or if you wish to wear this um, you know, I don't know <laughs> if you want to put it on a lanyard you can you can put it on this lanyard it doesn't appear to um, be big enough to put around your head unless you have a, a, a really tiny head maybe a doll's head <laughs> But of course you can put it on your own lanyard. That ain't a problem. Is it? No. Alright, so this is the black version that you see right here. It comes in other colors. You could get it in green and gray. Um, it also comes in tan, but right now GearBest uh, does not carry the tan right now. And again, it's $42.90. If I do come by a coupon code or, or something like that, I'm going to email them. Um, the day before you see this video, I'll ask them to get any codes. If they do, I'll slide them in the description box below, and you'll be surprised. Construction. It's aluminum alloy. It, it just feels rock solid. It is very impressive. There's no way to um, show you how this feels, but uh, it, it feels more solid than any other keychain flashlight I ever own. Um, the lens, let me see if I could sort of let you see that purplish tinge. I might have to move the light around a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but it definitely has an anti-reflective coating. It's glass. Maybe you can see a little bit of the purplish right there. I don't know. Pretty impressive. Then you also have the red and UV LEDs on the sides. I'll be demonstrating all of these. You have a smooth aluminum reflector that helps direct the Cree XP-G2 emitter that's capable of putting out 160 lumens that's right 160 lumens or you could dial it back to as little as 5 lumens and we'll go over the run times and, and, how, and modes of how long it lasts sorry about my, my phone making noise Next, uh, is it waterproof? It's sort of waterproof. It's IPX5. For those of you who don't know the IPX standards, like I didn't, I had to look it up. Um, 5 means it can withstand rain and, and spray like from a, from a squirt gun, from a super soaker, but it's not submersible. So don't, don't put this under the water. It could probably like do a quick dunk, but I'm not telling you to do that. But it is not made to go underwater. So it's good for rain or whatever, you know, for everyday use. EDC, that's what this is all about. But a solid EDC. So what is it powered with? Well, it's rechargeable. You just peel back this cover and you have a micro USB. So you could take any old micro USB cable 
and you plug it in does not come with a cable, does not come with a charger kinda hard to do this through the camera there we go and you can see it's red and when it's fully charged it will turn green I'm gonna like sit it here and when I come back I'll show you what it looks like when it's green voila we're green that means it's fully charged from empty this takes 90 minutes to charge so um, on candle power reviews or, or candle reviews on on the web they said it only took 75 minutes I think it was candle power yeah reviews for them but um pretty easy to charge and then you just sort of make sure you put that back in so you maintain that IPX5 um, waterproofness <laughs> And again, okay, I showed you this, showed you the construction. Next I want to show you is the button the where the business is happening. It's your on-off button. It's also your mode select. I'm going to show you how this works, and then we'll go through the run times. So just press the button. It's a good, firm button. It's not going to accidentally turn on. And it comes on in the medium mode. And then, you know, if you wait long enough when you press it, it'll go out. But if you press it and then press it immediately after several times you'll go through the different modes for example it's on medium hit it again it goes to its low setting hit it again it goes to its highest setting and then it goes to off so you got that so let's say you want to go to the highest setting you would hit it one two three and there you go so it's always medium low high off you got it now, you can also um, utilize one of these other LEDs. So if you press and hold it, you can do it when it's on or you can do it when it's off. But if you press and hold this guy, there's your red button or your red light. <laughs> and if you hit it again quick enough, it'll do like a beacon, a, a flashing kind of light there. It's not even a lumen. It doesn't, it doesn't seem very bright at all. You can see there. Um, and you click it, it goes off. Now, if you press and hold it again so you press and hold it like twice so I did it that one time and then I did it again you get this UV light now it's really hard to tell it's UV unless uh, I'm gonna turn out this light there we go so now you can see it's sort of UV when you're looking directly at it it's hard to tell but when you try to get it on paper it does have that bluish purple look what do you use the UV for um, well if your dog is bad while you're gone, you can find out because it helps you find bodily fluids and urine and uh, something like this is handy. Like you go into a hotel and you want to see if they actually cleaned the room. <laughs> bodily fluids is good to uh, have a UV light handy. Or maybe you, you wouldn't want to do that. Um, so I went ahead and pressed and held it and then it went back to the normal modes there. Um, the red and the UV are not extremely bright, but probably less than a lumen. So let's go ahead and go through. Oh, well, you know what? Before we go do the run times, there is one other thing that's really important when it comes to key chain lights. Is, is um, no, I'm not going to measure drugs here. <laughs> I'm going to measure the weight because a lot of people, um, you know, don't like to EDC everyday carry a lot of weight. So we'll just go ahead and pop this on here. And we're looking at um, 1.14 ounces. So it does have a little heft for a little for a little guy, um, but I don't think it's terribly bad. Just to give you an idea how big this is, because it's hard to put it in perspective like this. Here's a double A battery. See, so yeah, it's actually thinner. So. And it's flat in your pocket. I actually like this better than a tube type flat keychain flashlight. Um, this, to me, makes more sense in a pocket that's flat, right? Because it's against your body. So this usually fits better. Um, okay, run times. Let's talk about the the basic run time. So if I click it, it comes on a medium, right? Medium is 50 lumens for three hours. Hit it again, it goes to low, which is five lumens for 13 hours. Hit it again. High, which is 160 lumens for one hour. Hit it again. It's off. Right? All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. I'll leave it on medium. We could uh, take a look at the pattern there. 
you can see you got a nice spot you got a nice flood no weird artifacts of any sort it looks uh, of quality to me it's not a cheap keychain flashlight I'm gonna lay this down so you can sort of see the angle that it's coming out so looks like um, I don't know about 45 degrees actually I got the camera sort of at an angle if I were to tip this down a little more you could probably see that it's about um, 45 degrees you can also see all the dust I have up here <laughs> but um you can see the the pattern really good there man I'm telling you I really like this keychain flashlight rechargeable 160 lumens immaculate build quality I like it a lot I'm trying to see if there's a seam you know a lot of uh, cheaper flashlights would have a seam that comes across and then they would like screw it together and then you know you would feel a little bit of a you know where it's not coming together perfect or something like that this is one piece this is like apolistic a uh, single piece of aluminum alloy um, and it looks like all the stuff is sort of slid in through the top here that is uh, really nice and again this this is sort of like a rubber um, or silic silicone type of button material here and again you can see that um, it's not going to accidentally turn on unless you re you really 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 got to press that hard it has a nice click can you hear that so very very good button all right it's about uh time to wrap things up um if i missed anything everything's in the description box below um as far as measurements 59 millimeters high right there which is 2.3 inches its uh thickness is 10 millimeters or 0 0.34 0 0.4 inches and the width is 23 millimeters which is 0 0.906 inches so gives you an idea look you can't see it nothing here nothing to see Ta -da! Da -da -da -da. I remember there was like a Saturday Night Live thing where, where there was a skit where it goes da 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 Okay, I'm losing it. Uh, I recommend this. Holy crap, is there anything I don't like about this flashlight? Let me just demonstrate how how high this gets. There we go. See how bright that is? <laughs> it's very bright. Um, there we go. There's a good demonstration. 160 lumens. Now you can't tail stand this. Um, nope. Can't tail stand it. You can lay it on its side like that or that, but it won't tail stand. Um, other things that it doesn't have, no momentary. There, there's something. If you gotta have momentary in it, it's not because it clicks, it's on. You, you can't just, uh, tap it. So it's uh no momentary um other things it would have been nice if it were waterproof ipx 8 would have been nice but it's not so you can't go swimming with it but most people you know are going to attach this to their keys and they probably have their car dongle on there too and they're not going to want to put that on the water either so i think for 90 percent of you out there i don't think that's a deal breaker i'm telling you this is the best build quality I've come across in a keychain light ever here that I've ever reviewed. Um, I was looking forward to this review, so now I could put it on my keychain and replace my old one with this because this is this is it. This is my favorite one now. All right, I recommend it. The link is in the description box below at GearBest. Um, I looked around to some other sites, it's not cheaper anywhere else, and again, if I do get a coupon code from GearBest, I'll go ahead and, and slide that in down there also for you. Um, that's it. Alright, well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you, and I hope you have a great day or evening. Take care. Bye.